Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to do a shine through text effect in After Effects. So to get started we're going to open up After Effects and here you can see what we're going to be creating. Basically light shines through the back of the text, goes back to the middle and then goes back to the default text. So to get started we're going to go up to Composition, New Composition and I'm just going to make it 1280 by 720 with a duration of 6 seconds and a background color of black and click OK. So now that we have this, I'm going to go up to Layer, then New, then Solid, and I'm going to make it Comp Size, which is 1280 by 720 and a background color of black, and that's just going to serve as the background of our effect. So now that we have this, we're going to start adding in the text that we saw in our example, so I'm just going to go to 33% on the view, and I'm going to go up and grab the text tool, and I'm just going to type out Shine, and I have it on uh, white text with Impact Regular as the font. So I'm just going to try and center this on the stage here. All right. So now that we have that done, we're going to need to make two copies of this. So I'm just going to click on the text layer, then go to Control D and hit that again. So we basically have three copies of this text on the stage here. So um, you can also use Edit and then Duplicate, but I just wanted to use Control D for the shortcut. So that's just an alternate way that you can do that. So now that we have this, we're going to actually start adding the effects to our text. So you're going to want to click on your first text layer, so the bottom one that's right above the background. And then what you're going to do is go over to Effects and Presets. Now, you might have this somewhere else um, in your After Effects layout here. I have it over here. If you can't find yours or you don't actually have it out on stage, you can take and go up to Window and then Effects and Presets to find that. So now what we're going to do is yours is going to look like that and we're going to search for a fast blur. So I'm just going to type fast into the little search bar here. And now you can see that we have a uh, fast blur right down here under blur and sharpen. So what I'm going to do is just take and drag that and we're going to drag it down onto the text layer. So make sure you're on the first one and we're going to put it right there. And you can see that now we have some extra options up here that come up in the in, uh, effects controls. And if for some reason you lose this or you it didn't come up, you're going to need it. So you can go up to a Window and then go down to Effects Controls to get that. So now that we have that, what we're going to do is adjust the fast blur so that it gives a slight blur to our bottom layer. So I'm going to go to Blurriness and I'm going to adjust it to 2.0. And that's the only thing that we need to adjust on that. We'll just leave the other ones at their default settings of horizontal and vertical and the repeat edge pixels as being off. So the second layer is where most of um, what's going to be creating that effect is going to happen. So we need to drag out another fast blur onto the second text layer. So um, shine 2 as it's called on my stage. And then I'm also going to take and drag out this CC radial fast blur that's right under it or right above it. Um, if you can't find that, if it's not right there, you can search for it. Uh, in the search bar. So I'm just going to drag that out and put that also onto the text layer. So now we can see uh, we have two effects on that one layer. And for the fast blur on this layer we're going to bump it up a little bit and we're going to go with 4.0 and again leave these as the defaults. And then for the CC radial fast blur this is where the magic is going to happen for this effect. You can already see it's starting to kind of uh, bring light from behind there. It's not really bringing light, it's blurring it, but it gives the effect that there's actually light coming from behind there. So we're just going to leave the center alone. We'll be uh, messing with that later and animating it. Um, but the amount we're going to put at 70, and then we're going to take the zoom mode and put it at brightest, which I found gives the best effect for um, the shine through. So lastly, um, on our top text layer, which is shine 3, um, I'm basically just using shine 3 uh, or this top text layer in order to have uh, the beginning text, the crisp text. And I'm just going to cut that by dragging from one side from at zero seconds all the way to four and so basically it's just going to shine and it's going to do the whole animation right here and then it's going to get to four seconds and it's going to go back to the uh, very beginning text with no blur or anything on it so it's nice and crisp if you had like a logo or something you'd want it to be the crispest right there at the end rather than uh, having the blur and everything on it so that's why I put that in there so it just goes shine all the way back to the beginning all right, so now we're actually ready to start um, creating the effect. So I'm going to go back to Shine 2, uh, the second text layer, and I'm just going to take and click on this little triangle right here, and it's going to open up more options. And then if I click on the effects triangle, it's going to bring down the uh, effects that we've added, and then I'm going to click on the one for CC Radial Fast Blur, and that's what we're actually going to be animating in order to make this effect work. 
So um, the way that animations work is by creating keyframes, and so we need to be on our first uh, frame in order for this one. So I'm just going to take the playhead right here, and you can just click on the yellow top here and drag this back to zero seconds so that we can start at the beginning. And basically what's going to happen is we're going to click the little stopwatch for the center under radial fast blur, and we're also going to click the stopwatch for amount. And so you can see that it's added in on our timeline here. Uh, a little yellow diamond and a little gray one. Um, the selected one is the yellow one. And so what those are are keyframes. And basically we take and assign an amount to this. So right now it's at 70. Say that we come out to 1 and we add in a value of 90 or more or less or something. It's going to take and basically change the value from 70 to say 90 in the period of time over one second. So that's how the animation actually works. So it's pretty pretty simple to actually create the animation. All right, so basically what's going to happen here is back on the first frame, um, we're going to be taking and animating the center because so, we already have the amount at 70, which is where we want that. So we're going to be on the center. And the easiest way that I found to move the center point is by coming up here to the, your effects controls under CC Radio Fast Blur. And under the center, there's a little um, button here that looks like a crosshair. And you're going to want to click that. And now you can see that you immediately have this little uh, giant plus sign crosshair on stage. And so what you're going to do is put this crosshair over to the left of your text or your logo or whatever you're putting the shine behind. And we're just going to click over here. And it helps. Um, you want to make sure that you cut your text basically in half. And so this little um, red plus that's here is where it currently is. So if you want to use that, you can line up this the right side line with that. And you can make sure that you already have it right there in the center. So you can click right there and you can see that it immediately moved the light so that it looks like it's coming from the left rather than the center where it was. All right, so now what we're going to do is move the timeline, the playhead, out to one second. And then we're going to basically start animating it. So we're going to move the center, so click again on the little button, back to where it was. So I'm going to line it up with the little red part over here and try and get it right in the center of the eye. And I'm just going to click, and now you can see that it moved to the center. And I'm also going to take and change the amount to 85. So it's going from 70 to 85. I'm going to hit Enter. And now you can see that it has created two keyframes right here, one for the center and one for the amount. And so now, as I move this, you can see that it's moving that right to the center of our text. So you can see that it looks like the light is moving behind the text. So what we're going to do now is move out to two seconds and we're going to adjust it again. So I'm going to move the center over to the right. So just try and line that up as best as possible. All right. And I'm going to change the amount back to 70. So it's going 70, 85, then 70 again. And then I'm going to move out to three seconds and we're going to have it move back to the center. So I'm going to move the center point to the center. So back to the middle of our text. And then I'm going to have it get really bright. So it's going to be kind of going across, and then it's going to come back to the middle, and then it's going to get really bright. And I think the max on CC Radio Fast Blur is 100, which is a little too much, so I'm just going to put it at 95. So you can see that that really uh, sells it there. So it's going to go all the way across, come back to the middle, and then it's going to get really bright. And then we want it to fade out so that it goes right back to the original text. So on the fourth, um, on second four here, we're going to put the amount down to zero. And um, with this amount, you can either click to add in your own custom value, or you can take and drag it, depending on what you want. All right, so the last thing that we're going to do here for the keyframes um, is that when you're using keyframes, sometimes um, they just seem like they're moving a little too harshly. You want it to be a little bit smoother, your animation. So what we're going to do for the keyframe that's at four seconds is hit F9. Click on that and hit F9. It'll turn it to a little hourglass shape. And basically what that does is it's called an Easy Ease keyframe. And it's going to turn it um, from basically going completely linear from uh, what do we have at 95 to 0. It's going to take it and kind of move it. And it's going to go at the right speed. And it's going to kind of slow down right before it gets to there. So it's a nice smoother effect. And we're also going to do that on the two keyframes that are at 3 seconds. So we have three of them that look like hourglasses. And so it'll just give it a little bit smoother of an effect. So the last thing that we can do, we can actually preview this right now if we want, um, but I'm going to add in the color first, um, is we can take and add in a colored glow to our shine. So what I'm going to do is create another uh, solid. So go up to Layer, New, Solid, and it's going to be black again. 
and click OK. And we're going to move it right between Shine 3 and Shine 2, so the second and third uh, duplicated layer. So what we're going to do with that um, is basically first turn it to an adjustment layer. So the way that we're going to do that is by toggling our mode for uh, our layers. And you can either click this button right here or you can hit F4 and you can see that it'll change how um, all the different options that you have down here. And so what we're going to do is click this little half and half circle, which if you're familiar with Photoshop, that's the adjustment layer um, icon. And so we're going to enable it for the black solid 7, which is right here, um, which is the layer that we just created. And that basically allows us to add adjustments to that rather than have it be just a black shape, which would cover up everything that we just did. All right, so what I'm going to do is make sure that you're on the black solid that you created. And then we're going to go up to Effect and then Color Correction. And then we're going to go down to Color Balance. And way down at the bottom, you can adjust this to whatever color you want. I'm going to choose blue. Um, so I'm going to go down to the Highlight Blue Balance at the bottom. I'm going to jack that up to probably about 100. And then what I'm going to do is take and put this at probably about 25 on the green balance on the highlight just so that it kind of balances it out. You can see now if we look at it you can see that we have a nice color to it rather than it just going from white behind there. And why I added that green in was because you can see that um, here I'll put it back at around zero. You can see that it was pretty purple so if I take and put that at about 25 it brings out uh, the blue in it rather than having a uh, purple tint. So just try and mix the colors accordingly with this color balance and you can get a pretty nice um, glow on your effect. So um, that's the effect that we're creating. Uh, you can see that it'll go through here and then it'll get to four and it'll go back down to the original text right here. And um, actually we're still getting a little blur from behind there because we need to take and cut these um, first few layers. So we're going to take uh, the text layer here and here. And what I'm going to do uh, is hold alt and I'm going to hit the right square bracket so near your backspace key right above enter there there's a right bracket I'm gonna hold alt and hit the right bracket and that's basically cuts those two layers to that so instead of having it blurred and blue behind there it's just going to come down here and go back to the regular text or logo or whatever you're putting the shine through behind there so I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week with a new video tutorial.